Act 8.2 is coming soon. Relics were a bit of a mess in release. Let's see all the areas things went wrong and what Kabam are fixing. Kabam seem to be loving that whale money for Thronebreaker Relic Crystals as we see the first ever five star relics. And we have arena predictions for Rocket and Mordo. Yes, hello everybody. Welcome back to the MCN for Wednesday. Now with more Crokia COVID related uh, voice. Uh, shout out to Brian Grant as well. Um, so I uh, found out that Brian has also got uh, COVID as well. Weird that. It's also weird that it's running into Cyber Weekend. It's like, uh, it's like Kabam want to take out all the non-spending players within the game. That's a joke. But I just thought it was quite coincidentally weird that we both have COVID at the same time. Funny enough, manifested in the last 24 hours. I also shall be drinking plenty of water and looking after myself and getting myself back to a full working order before Friday, fingers crossed. Especially because Cyber Weekend drops and uh, I want to do a lot of coverage on that because it's going to be very important. Especially because it's my first ever one as a non-spending player within Marvel Contest of Champions. So hit the like button, subscribe, or post notifications on all. I might try and squeeze in some relic-based videos, but I probably will do that tomorrow when my throat has recovered. Covered. This video is sponsored by Opera GX. Opera GX is a browser built for gamers. The browser includes unique features like CPU, RAM and network limiters to help you get the most out of both gaming and browsing. And Opera GX brings speed, customization and privacy when desktop browsing. In my line of work, it's really important to have social features incorporated into a browser and Opera GX has this. I also really enjoy watching other people's live streams and it's great because Twitch is integrated into the sidebar. The feature also allows for keeping all your social media like TikTok, Facebook Messenger, Discord and more at hand in your browser and you get notifications from your social media apps you use. Opera GX also has the GX control which helps enhance performance on your PC when gaming and having browsers open at the same time so it doesn't create quite so much lag. The GX control panel allows you to limit the CPU, RAM and network bandwidth whilst you've got these browsers open. So it's like you're setting up a one-stop shop for optimization whilst having your browser and gaming at the same time. Opera GX is at the peak of performance for speed when watching videos and streaming content. Opera GX also is available on mobile with the GX Mobile and can be connected to your desktop version. So go and check out Opera GX in the link in the description down below and upgrade your browsing game today. We kick off with Act 8.2 uh, Beta, which is coming very soon. I know a lot of players have been saying like, yo, where does Beta end? Where's this beta? And, uh, you know, it's what, since September, October, November, December is the beta. Likelihood of a January, February maybe release. Looks kind of likely. Um, we've got a um, setup period, sign up period uh, for the test will take place between November 22nd, that was yesterday, and November 29th, which is um, next week, next uh, Tuesday. So uh, at least you get to sign up for that. And then the beta will take place on the 9th of December. For myself and many other players, I think day point two was um, a lot of fun. I actually enjoyed myself. There's a few kind of paths, a few kind of bosses. They're a bit eh, but I think it's just a case of down to um, acquisition. Um, and also I was holding off on some um, openings which then gave champions, which would, be, which would be better options, a higher rarity to take on the paths and be more enjoyable rather than having to use five stars all the time for these particular things. I think this is something we had to use relics in at some stage, whether or not, well, I'd actually, let's just double check because uh, they've got the crosses on things. Uh, no, you can't use relics on them. Whether or not Kaban will open up relics to be used in these um, these acts um, at a later date. It's hard to know at this stage. Uh, very early days with relics. And now we move on to relics. Um, there may be questions that you may be saying to yourself. This this doesn't look good. This this camera, relics, this relics camera uh, is broken beyond belief. Look how weird it is. Um, I don't know if... like. But th th Yes, this this is not good. Relics be broken ish. So let's face it, relics didn't have the smoothest of entry into Marvel Contest of Champions. There were many bugs. I mean, we saw just a bug a moment ago. Uh, we've also seen this bug, which is the champ, not champion. I've got to get that out of my head. The relic will not appear, or the battle cast will not appear, and that's just like weird isn't it that particular issue was uh, was kind of fixed and uh, you should be able to see as of today your relic if you're opening it up because you might be like thinking well 
Oh, where's my relic? It will appear in your uh, in your inventory or in your inventory in your champion section where it says my relic. Which you know, an example is you know if you go to your champions tab, you click my relics. They're there. Those are my relics currently. Hopefully, I can add better, more spicy relics to this, um, and also make decisions around certain champions based on the abilities the relic has. I also see a few reports of players missing out on certain things. Whether or not you know, there's one player says that I never opened the relic gift, as it said I had 29 days, uh, and then going far to say that I can't find the relic gift anymore. Never claimed it. They're not showing rewards. Um, a player here saying, uh, also I made a mistake, the crystal I was missing were 25% class, aloe crystals not 10%, so someone's missing something um, from, from them, so I don't know 100% whether or not, you know, different players are having different issues. If it's specific to your account, I would recommend doing a support ticket, which can be found in-game if you go to your homepage and then go to the cog, top left-hand corner, and then go down to um, support, which is there, click on support and uh, then do a individual account related ticket uh, for these particular issues. Now I did do a video yesterday on uh, on relics and stuff and do bear in mind that if you feel that the tutorial is forcing you to bind a relic to a particular champion, you can unbind it. For the first few times it will be free after that it will cost. Um, I do want to do a relics explain video but it's not exactly easy when you've got COVID and like your brain's kind of like going to mush. So I'm going to try and uh, make sure I do something like that, but uh, I'll, I'll try and do it when I'm feeling a little bit kind of well, maybe tomorrow. Uh, but the Relic Ex Relics Explained video and as well like top tips when it comes to Relic, I'll probably like start writing it, prepping it today to then release tomorrow uh, and all that particular stuff. But yeah, you can bind and then unbind for the first few times that costing you anything. There is also currently a master thread on bugs within relics and I'm sure this is going to expand. One player here saying he's got an MSID issue. Another player here saying that like they can't take in their relic bishop into um, Realm of Legends which is something that is advertised you can actually use. There's a whole plethora of problems uh, with relics and I'm sure they'll be resolved sooner rather than later. And in a moment we're going to be going over the um, Thronebreaker crystals and Thronebreaker relic crystals which, oh, okay, that's a weirdly thing. Also, it looks like this is, this is quite funny. Um, in um, Cavalier difficulty, the relic, um, and this was posted this morning by the way, UK time, 8am. Uh, the uh, Doctor Doom, uh, Doctor Doom got um, the, the relic. How? 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 Um, very strange. So I don't, I don't know. There's like, um, yeah. Also, um, yeah, I, I don't know if anybody saw the MCN on Monday, uh, where it says that using the, or was it Tuesday? It was like a video I did on, on Sunday this week. Um, as this player says, using the relic while rooted causes Rin try to freeze in standing animation. It is currently a bug. There is a Trello board, uh, which if you, as I said, if you haven't seen, uh, we, we've been covering the, the, the Trello board on these particular issues, uh, which is going to be on screen uh, right now on the far right hand corner. I don't know if Kabam have updated this. It looks like they might have done because we weren't able to scroll down. So relics cannot be equipped to champions who were released from a still active alliance war. Certain relics preview pop-ups are cut off when the relic is not owned, when you upgrading socket smart select is not auto selecting and by relic pop-up. Um, if you're playing incursions with a partner that is using the same champions you are, their, their champion portrait will display the relic you have equipped to that champion. Uh, relic uh, prestige is not impacting uh, alliance prestige. Well, I guess that was something the command wanted to actually do in the first place. Carousel while opening relic crystals is only showing one rarity, um, though drop rates are accurate. So that gives you an idea on that one. Many boogs, many boogs indeed when it comes to uh, relics. And now we move on to the next story, which is all about Thronebreaker Relic Crystals. I'm still in two minds about opening any of these up, and I'm just kind of waiting for Cyber Weekend to see if there's anything on this, any kind of movement. And that's just the thing. If you're unwilling, or not unwilling, if you're... Uh, I don't know, like, you don't want to get in the extensive grime of Battlegrounds. Your other options are to, uh, to go down the route of spending 300 units on better relics. And they cost 250 units um, a piece, which I suppose isn't as bad as the Cavalier Crystals. But it does make me kind of think, like, what's the future going to be with these ones? Because they're three to five star relics. And I kind of think, well, why don't, why don't we have, like, three to, I don't know, three to six star ones? The same same way that we've had, like, um, other ones in the, in the past. But 
again, that's not down to me. That's down to uh, it's down to Kabam. And as as you know, people are kind of like pointing out uh, right here is that you know this this particular player. But it's like, well, I'm Paragon. You know, um, why why can't why can't we get like Paragon related ones for the the rarity that we are in game? And maybe that's the thing, Kaban want to kind of emphasize more of like the spending type nature when it comes to this stuff. So I don't know what the future will be for Cyber Weekend deals. We'll be dissecting that on um, on Friday. I've got to figure out how I'm going to do that and separate out between like spending and non-spending. Because I do want to create some sort of a, a divide uh, with that kind of stuff. Um, I'm not spending, but I want to kind of at least kind of figure out we can do like a... Um, you know, a, a spending to non-spending kind of coverage on the channel. But this is where I think the emphasis comes in at Kabama, create more of an emphasis to go and do battlegrounds rather than kind of spending um, units, um, spending money on units, spending your units in any case. Especially with 2.5% is the drop rate for five-star relics, which I just think is a bit darn ridiculous um, in, in any case. Um, look, it's, it's Kabama at the end of the day, so it's kind of like that's that's them in a nutshell. On this particular subject it's especially weird when you consider like this is those relics it it's ten pounds or ten dollars or ten Canadian dollars whatever dollars it is I think it's like ten, close to ten ten dollars to get yourself a shot at a what will be most likely a three-star relic and you kind of look at it and go like is it actually worth the money for it that's just the thing value for money is very important cost of living crisis you know but in any case, good to see a bit of luck um, when it comes to these particular Thronebreaker relics. Uh, shout out to Dax, who picks up a first ever, I think it's the first ever one I've seen, of a five-star relic, which is there. That's the Black Panther one. So that's cool. Honestly, it's really cool to see that first ever relic. As I said, for me, um, the way that I kind of look at relics is that I kind of feel they're a bit weird that they're champion orientated in the battle cast and not like items, like item specific, which I said, you know, it, there was a cutscene, which is this, this is taken from, which has things like, uh, you know, the Stormbreaker hammer. And then we've also got like uh, gauntlet. We've got like animals. We've got people. We've got, you know, a whole host of things. So having it just like champion related again, and the star system around those champions, just like, eh, eh. But for some people, they like relics. Um, I said, I'm very indifferent on it. I still don't think we've seen the full impact of these particular relics. And that's just the thing. We're, we're living in a journey period. We're doing an expedition. We're testing. Because remember, we're the beta testers of our Marvel Contest of Champions. To find out whether something works or it doesn't. So very early days with it. And also, we'll have to see what happens with Cyber Weekend when it comes to deals on these particular relics. And also the Battleground store which is important to kind of like gather the shards. Not a huge amount of shards though. Especially as it takes 10k to get a 5 star, which... Right, okay, we got lots of work to do. And we end the show on the following, and that is that it's Rocket and it's Mordo in the arena this week. I'm sure there'll be some interest to go and grind for these champions. So, predictions wise, I'm going with 80 mil for the 6 star Rocket. Um, I'm not 100% sure where we're going to go with that one, whether or not it's going to be interest post buff that people want to go out and grind for it. It's Cyber Weekend, so maybe people might be blasted out of their units and want more. Don't know. Five star rocket. I'm going with 28 mil because it's in the featured, so people will kind of like do what they'll do. It could even go a lot lower, like 25 maybe. Six star Mordo, I'm going with 48 mil. It's a great champion. It could be a good option for Battlegrounds the deck, uh, defensive deck. And also a uh, five star Mordo, which um, I'm going with 12 mil. So if you're interested in uh, that, go grab it, go grind it, and all that stuff. That has indeed been the show. Thank you very much for watching. And also thank you to those who support the channel as a YouTube member and as a Patreon. Appreciate you a lot. And you're on screen right now. Also those who support on twitch.tv slash richthemanlive. Until um, I've kind of kicked COVID, um, I might not be on streaming. If I do, I probably won't be talking that much, which kind of is not really what streaming is all about. But yeah, um, go and check out. Um, yeah, Renew your Prime as well if you haven't done already. And uh, yeah, I'll um, see you all when I see ya. And finally, check out some other content which will be located on screen right now. And I'll see you in the next video. Um, maybe not today. I may have a rest on the throat. But uh, definitely tomorrow. Cheers, everybody. Bye-bye.